Hey Virgo, so we're doing middle of the night reads. Um, I slept like late afternoon, so I'm not tired now. So I figured I would get up and work and do my house stuff. So um, these are general readings as usual, but I am going to um, sort of like drag in that eclipse energy so we can see if there's anything we need to know, okay? So for Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. What do they need to know? Eclipse energy. Somebody's dealing with a Leo. A very sullen Leo. Okay. You might be putting decision making aside right now. Okay, you might be like, you know, I'll 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 get back to that later. Yeah. Yeah. You you need a little bit more information or um a little bit more peace before you can come to any sort of conclusion. <clears throat> For Virgo. Why is the Five of Cups here, Virgo? Oh, boy. Oh, shit, man. Okay. Somebody betrayed you or hurt you or uh, made you feel less or, like, you know, basically brought, a, like, a burden to you, okay? What's weird is you're still, like, did I do something wrong? Is there a way I could have fixed this? Um, you know... It's almost like it's almost like you're you're ignoring the toxicity of it, you know, and just kind of focused on what you could have done better, but it was not your fault, you know. Well, I mean, it, it takes two in every situation, but like the majority was not your fault, okay? For Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, the Cook's energy. Yeah, you're overthinking this, okay? It was just something you really wanted to happen. It doesn't matter what it was. Whether it's a new job or a new person, like, you really wanted it to happen. What else? Okay, who's this water sign? I, they're a little selfish. Whoever this is, they're a little selfish. Jeez, I don't love this. Virgo, it's almost like, it's almost like this person's in your life only when it benefits them. And it, they're kind of like, they'll pop in and out whenever they feel like it. Doesn't have to be a water sign, could be an Aries, could be an air sign. You are in the upright when it comes to your finances, which is nice. Looks like you're waiting for some sort of phone call. You will be getting it. You are you could be waiting on anything. You could be waiting on uh, a call about your finances or, or even from a person while your finances are doing well. You will be getting it, but there's something you don't see happening. What is that? looks pretty good. I'm not gonna, it doesn't look like something negative. What do you not see? Oh, this is going to be better than expected. Okay, so whatever that call is that you're waiting on, um, could be a text, guys, all right, um, is going to be better than expected. So if it's, um, again, I'm, I, I like to use examples because I'm really not, I'm not a great communicator, guys. I'm really not. Like, I have Aquarius, Mercury. <laughs> Um, I'm just an oddball, really, but, uh, let's say you were applying for some sort of new position and you thought, you know, I, oh, I'm going to make 70,000 a year. I really hope I get this position. I'm waiting around for this call. And then they come back and they were like, yeah, so we're going to give you, you know, 75 and this bonus. And you're like, oh shit, this is way nicer, you know, same thing if it's a, a any sort of relationship situation where you're just like, wow, this is really cool. We're really getting to know each other. Um, but the connection is a lot stronger than you think. For Virgo. Why is Wheel of Fortune in the reverse? Somebody's pushing on the brakes here. 
Okay, it's you. It's you. The number seven will be relevant. What is this about? This is not the same communication here. This is a completely different situation that just popped up. So this is probably a warning. This looks good. Why is this here? For Virgo. Jeez, mm, okay. Something's wrong here. Some somebody else um, <clears throat> stole money from you, or lied about some sort of financial situation. Whether it was their financial situation or yours, somebody lied, or will be lying. I don't actually think you have these messages yet. I think this is a will be lying. Who is this person, and why? for Virgo. They're at a distance. Could be a cancer sign, doesn't have to be. Virgo, you know what this looks like? You're doing really well over here and then somebody pops up with messages of like, hey, can you help me out? I need to like make this bill. Hey, can you help me out if you, like I'll pay you back kind of thing and they have no intentions whatsoever. Um, just be really careful. Just be really careful. I never help anybody out with the expectation of ever seeing it again. Because I feel like you're just setting yourself up for failure if you do that. What else for Virgo? Yeah, this person... Huh, it's still pulling. I don't, this must be your eclipse warning, honestly. This is like your rainy day fund and they're just abusing you. We have a tower moment here, why is that? Okay. Okay. So... This is kind of all over the map, Virgo. I'm not really sure because my energy is pretty stable today, so I'm not wa sure why the cards are doing this. I'm going to ignore this little part for a bit. Take it to heart. Keep it in mind. But now it's going back to their original reading. So it just like threw in this warning, and now it's we're back to what I was saying. It's going to be better than expected. Um, the tower moment, again, is some sort of... Uh, um, relationship, whether that, like I said, is work relationship or whether it is a uh, romantic connection, obviously it's going to pull as uh, romantic, but it's like you're giving up the, the minute you meet this person, you're giving up all other options. You are fully invested in this. Okay. This is going to be like, again, if you are just getting to know somebody or you just meet somebody, you know, this month or, um, I'm not good with timelines. Could be a tourist. Doesn't have to be. It's going to just blow your mind how compatible you two are. Again, if this is just a work relationship, client relationship, it's just going to flow. It's just going to work. It's just going to bring in income. Much better than you think. Virgo. Who's this page? And somebody thinks that you're causing some sort of injustice by walking away from them. Whether this, again, is a work-related situation or um, a past person. They're going to guilt trip you, just an FYI. I just, Virgo, there's a lot of feelings here that I feel like you shouldn't be accepting. You know, like, you know, where did I go wrong kind of thing where somebody's doing this to you. You don't have any reason to feel badly. Okay. What else for Virgo? Oh. 
fire sign en energy here. That's probably who you're moving away from here. Doesn't look romantic. Um, if it's a court situation, Virgo, it almost looks like they get away with something that they shouldn't have. But changes come immediately following. If it's not, if it, this is just karma, this person's a waste of time. Why is death here? Okay. A bit shocking. I get it. These changes are huge and good and positive, honestly. Okay, some sort of truth. Even an apology. What is this about for Virgo? Wow. Okay. Virgo, you have just money coming in again. Okay, like, again, maybe somebody owes you money. Maybe you're waiting for some sort of um, um, court payout. Maybe you are, though I don't, I don't know. I don't like the court thing, I'll be honest with you. But um, maybe your money's being, like, held for some reason. And then you get you get some sort of news here and more money. Money you're even able to like put away. Invest with whatever, you know, whatever you want to do with it. For Virgo. Finding some stability too. I like it. The sucky part is it's like somebody's been messing with you, Virgo, for sure. Financially, emotionally, whatever the case. Um, I don't think you're just going to suddenly move beyond that. I don't think you're just going to kind of get over it and be like, whatever, you know, it's like one of those, like I said, I feel like you're in your own head, almost trying to take the blame for somebody else's problems. For Virgo eclipse season, why is the three of cups here in the reverse? Okay. You might be invited somewhere and choose not to go because you're going to be focused on like healing yourself mentally, physically, whatever that looks like. Um, it's probably for the best. I think that whatever this gathering is that you don't go to um, is some something transpires there and it has nothing to do with you. It's just like at least you avoided the chaos. Okay. It looks good. Looks like somebody in your energy, this could be you or somebody else, has really been struggling with getting pregnant. That could happen soon for them. Changing what you're going after. Changing your goals in the future as well here in the next few weeks, actually. Again, taking better care of yourself. If you've been struggling with like your mental health or physical health, I see that improving. I really do. And with the number nine, I feel like it starts this month. For Virgo, somebody wants to reconcile. Of course they do. Of course they do. Why do I always pull this? Past lover. Somebody who's willing to make changes or at least claims that they're willing to make changes in order to make this work, that they have lost sleep over you and whatever, they're breadcrumbing. They're still just doing the bare minimum, like whatever it is to trigger you to try to get you back, okay? Whoever, whoever this is. They're popping up as a page. They, they, might, they might get some sort of response out of you, Virgo, I'll be honest with you. So just be mindful. Don't let this person manipulate you. What, what does that look like? What's the end result? Nah, you walk away. Number eight. This was karmic. You're done with it. I love that for you. I do love that. And the four of wands here, you know exactly what you're doing. Okay, who's this fire sign? Okay. 
Okay, the fire sign is this person you end up with. Virgo, you you definitely have a, a relationship coming in for you. Unless, of course, you're happily married. Ignore me. This is a relationship with somebody, you know, work-wise or, you know, your new best friend. Um, <clears throat> but for those of you that are single and available, you have somebody that you're going to find very passionate, very attractive. Um, they're not a toxic person, by the way. They're not. They could bring some stability into your life. It could end in marriage. We have the Ten of Cups. They're pulling as a fire sign. Doesn't have to be, guys. Any, all the signs are here. It could be any sign. Um, I think the reason they're pulling as a fire sign is just because you're going to find them very charming, you know, very fiery, um, exciting sort of relationship. You do have one major financial burden here that you don't see coming, okay? Um, somebody could actually help you with that. So, again, going back to the whole example thing, it could be something simple like, uh, well, it would be expensive, but let's say there's a hurricane and your fence falls down and, you know, fences are very expensive to replace. You have a friend that goes, oh, geez, just pay for the, like, fencing and I'll put it up for you. You know, something like, it looks, it looks good. I like it. And it's saying, it's saying this person's new, by the way. This is not a past person. This, new, this is a new person coming into your life. Virgo, anything else before I end it here for Virgo? All in all, this has been a really good read. Feeling confident about your money again. Some of you might be on a podcast or interviewed for something as well. And it's, all right, it's repeating about you waiting on some sort of communication about some financial thing, which, which will happen. It will happen, okay? You don't have to worry about that. Last three cards. Again, new person looks really good with the new person looks really really good you're not going back to anything in the past this is moving forward with somebody that actually could be healthy connection for you all right virgo well i hope this helped and have a great day